Hello there, gamers, minecrafters, explorers, and adventurers, survivalists, uh, those that looked uh, for self-punishment. I am the Killer Gamer, and we're here with RL Craft. We're back with another episode, and we are going to see blah, just how long we can actually last in this thing, because we're playing in hardcore mode. Uh, let's just go ahead and get back into it. These, <laughs> We've died three times. This is our fourth. All right, first aid, H for tutorial. So this is the first aid mod. This tutorial will guide you through this mod and explain the different mechanics. So some of you already know that you can get one shot to your body or your head and that'll just kill you right off the bat. Vanilla health bar is gone. So everything is now with this been replaced by this system. Every part of your body has its own health. So if you fall from a high place, your left foot breaks, one of your feet will be damaged. This will cause you some debuffs like slowness, damaged feet, arms, and so on. These effects may be bypassed by taking morphine or healing the wound. Wounds can be healed by applying bandages or plaster. Right click the item. If you sleep in a bed, your body will automatically regenerate a little bit. A player can die if a critical organ's health, head or body, drop to zero. In this case, the player would be dead no matter how much health the other or organs have. If you want to see your current health and active healers, just press H to open this interface with your health. That is the end of the tutorial. Yay. <laughs> Is that a good thing? thing and a bad thing. I think that's a bad thing right there. <sighs> These are our skills. Farming. Adds a small chance to gather a second piece of wheat when harvesting fully grown wheat crops. Farming 12. Green thumb. Plants grow around players with disability grow faster. We only got one. We have to have a farming of eight. How do we get a farming of eight? So we can't even farm our own food. How are we supposed to get those skills up, anyway? I have no idea. Isn't that weird? I keep hear I keep thinking I'm hearing something. Let's get this out. What happened to the other one? Oh, there it is. Let's not destroy that, because once you destroy that, it's it's an ever torch, I think. Um, we don't want to destroy that. Yeah, I'm not sure how to increase our health on stuff.
on one hand I want to cut down this tree because of, of the shadows it's uh, creating but maybe it's also protecting me I don't know Alright, we got a lot of seeds here. That's a good start. Let's take a look at Flint Ho. Okay, I don't need a those acorns out. Okay, I have them. We're going to plant our acorns. Uh, no, we're not going to plant our acorns.
so we can make our garden over there, I suppose. Well, I hope, anyway. Temperature-wise, this seems to be a good area. Torch. We got a regular torch, a torch lever, smoldering torch. If you do a glowstone crystal on a stick, you'll get yourself a, a lit torch. Or a lit torch, and that will give you... Okay, so that's what we need in order to get a thing. Is that what that is? I don't know if that's a bad thing or a good thing. Yeah. A golden Yale. It didn't attack me. Do we have a... One of those beast manuals or something. Better questing. Okay. Quests. Click me for info. How do I better quest? Since you've already managed to find your way here, congrats. <laughs> Quests are laid out with the left half of the page being used for the quest description. Uh, yada, yada, yada. Quests that are available to complete will be flashing. Red quests that aren't unlocked yet will be gray. Invisible quests are to finish will be green. Try completing this quest now by clicking the checkbox to the right. There. There are different chapters to click through, blah, blah, blah. After completing this clay, claim your thing. We get a quest book. Okay. And, what is that it? Homo habilis, whatever that is. All right, funny looking rock. Found a sharp rock, mixed it in with some crunchy rocks. Okay. Oh, look at this. Interesting. Okay, so we did that. Pointy stick. Done that. Did that. We did this. We get a big brain. Yay. I don't know what we're going to do with it. Plant fiber. This is... I, I just know from experience you just have to make this stuff. But this will tell you what just happened. I just lost my quest book, apparently. Um, tying the knot. Okay, so we did the string. This is how it teaches you how to... What is that? How if I know? And then you've got the flint hatchet, which we did that. Grog axe hit tree, grog get wood. So you have to right click these. Oh, no, you get the wood. Right here, swing that axe down on those logs, just watch your fingers. So yeah, you right click. What, left, right, axe? New interaction tax. What is, huh. I don't know what this is. And then we did swing that axe down on those logs. Just watch your fingers. Okay. So we've kind of done that except for this.
We have to make a crafting table, even though we already have one. Although, maybe I can just break that right there. Let's see. See if that actually worked. No. Oh, no, there it goes. Yeah. We got that tiny head Tato. Okay, so here's some other stuff. Vegan wool. Who needs sheep when you have grass? Consume, no, white wool. I guess we're supposed to get wool. Here's the camping. Okay, we can't do anything with this. Vegan wool? Is there a different way to make it? I don't think there is. Oh, yeah. You can put wool together with the with, with the plant string and stuff. Let's go ahead and do that then. That's a dark nymph. Is that a bad thing or a good thing? I don't know. We need some more. I keep hitting the wrong key. Okay, we're complete on that. Now, we can make a sleeping bag, which we can take with us. Or making a bed. Which, I think, if we just go ahead and... Here, I'm going to put some of this stuff in here. Fuck. What is this? Oh, it's another hat thing. Let's do this. It's not what I was trying to do. I'm trying to pick up. <laughs> That's okay. I can change the floor here. We got that one done. Okay, what the hell is this stuff? Is it armor? I don't know what it is. They're just hats. 
I, I don't care about hats. What do I want a hat for? All right, sleeping bag. Just three wool across will will get us that. All right, let's let's do that. Great. We got one of those now. There we go. All right, so what are we at now? Um, we got to do something with... Oh, birch wood. I hope that's not like a vampire bat or something. Okay, I discovered the Yale... Whatever that is. Sure would be nice if I could find out where the bestiary thing is at. Oh, maybe this is it. Beast. Yale. There it is. Summoning cost, knowledge rank. Strange fluffy ram-like beasts, however, under the coat of wool, they are not what they seem. Yales provide wool, which can be obtained using shears. They can also be farmed with vegetables. Their horns are actually strange limbs, and they have tiny hooked arms that they can use to sift through grass with. Um, okay, they're herbivores, so I guess they're... What? I hope that's not a bad thing. Alright, um, what else do we got here? Um, boy, it's so loud. Normal. Alright, I don't know what that is. There's the nymph. Whimsical fey elementals bursting with healing energy that heals all around them. They have a faunus for flowers. While harmless directly, they can cause trouble if scared. Jingu and Aegis Elementals can fuse to create powerful nymphs. I think those are friendly. Whatever that was, I don't think was friendly. That sounds like it's getting awfully close. That is definitely not friendly, whatever that is. The Gru. Why is he here? I don't know. When it is pitch black, you are likely to be eaten by a gruel. It is impossible to see these shadow elementals in complete darkness. Cinder and Argus elementals confuse to create powerful gruels. Well, I'm not in complete darkness. The wisp. What did the wisp do? Bright light elemental wisp can sometimes be seen playing catch with each other, throwing a deadly ball of radiation. While they're friendly, it's not wise to provoke a wisp. Cinder and Aegis elementals confuse to create powerful wisps. Okay. I guess.
Okay, so how do I... Dang it. Ah, that's right. We need to find a birch tree. Well, I'm going to go over here and get some more gravel. We need a canteen. Okay, a canteen. We need an empty canteen. Leather. We'll make that.
<laughs> I'm just gonna wait and wait for the sun to go down, go to sleep, and get back up. We have 99 trees. Cooking made easy with a campfire and a campfire spit. Okay. A bounty. I thought you could right click on this and, and drink. I guess not. Birch trees, come on, where can we find them? Chickens, okay. I wonder if that has fresh water. It's not a well. I thought it might have been. Yeah, there's a drag in that direction. Something big over there.
I don't know if they're dangerous or not. Those other things are, though, I think. That are out in the distance. Yeah, I think those things are actually friendly, if I remember correctly. That doesn't look good, does it? That's something bad, I'm pretty sure it is. I can't find any birch trees. Knew it! Knew that damn thing was in there somewhere. Always nice to be healed. Somewhat. Sun's starting to go down. That looks like that might be a house or another village or something. Alright. Let's go back this way. Oh wait, I just realized I have my um, sleeping bag. But I'm going to head back over here anyway. Because I want to start making a, uh, a path that I can follow so I'm not getting lost
and falling down stuff like that. And let's see here. Oh. Yeah, we looked at that. Plants. This creature can be summoned as a minion. Rank 2 Knowledge. Frugivore. Protectors of the forest that will attack anything that deem a threat to forest on sight. <laughs> so, pets. Summoning. You haven't had any creatures that can be summoned to your bichere yet. Um, there's all that stuff. Elements. Acid. Aether. Air. Blah, blah, blah. All right, can only sleep at night. Better questing. Doesn't really say anything here about. We got to figure something out in regards to uh, water. We have to get wood in order to do that. Birch wood. Okay, we are fully healed. We'll stop right here, and on the next episode, we're going to head back out to where we were. I'm going to continue making a path. Um, let's make another... I need to make another... Um, well, I can do that by... Hold on. I need sticks. <laughs> okay. Because making paths or is going to destroy that. All right, <laughs> we'll be back on the next episode and uh, we'll see uh, what is off in that one direction because it looked like there was a, a, another building or a village or something. And we got to do something about our thirst because we're getting thirsty. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next episode. Have a killer, awesome day.